I'm John Pashnak here with Icing the Fed and um, the St. Mary's b baseball team. We have uh, Christian Zablewski, Frank Propus, Ben Mazurowski, and Kyle Karaleski. They're uh, here to talk about what they expect for this upcoming 2018 season here. Three seniors here, so they're gonna we're gonna have each of them tell us what uh, they think their role is gonna be on the team this year. So uh, we'll start with Christian. Christian, what do you think your role is going to be this year? Well, I know I'm a senior leader on the team this year, uh, center fielder, captain of the outfield. So what I need to do is keep everyone in line and make sure everyone's putting their best foot forward every game. Uh, Christian here had a big uh, commitment to St. Bonaventure in this offseason. So uh, hopefully he can uh, show some of his talent out on the field this year and uh, prove to everybody that uh, St. Bonaventure is what, what he needs. I think between me and Benny will be the number one and two pitchers and probably Brady too. And on top of that, like Christian said, just get everybody fired up like last year because I think that's really what helped us. We had a lot of momentum going into the playoffs and like having all that energy helped. And playing first base when I'm not pitching and actually maybe hitting the ball out of the infield this year. <laughs> um, that's basically it. Probably hit, hopefully aim for middle of the order, probably later of the order, but just do anything I could to help us win the championship. That's really what it is. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm just trying to get back to the finals. That's all I got. Back to the finals. Got to win. Kyle, what's uh, what's your role going to be on the team this year? <laughs> all right, so, you know, fourth string. <laughs> <laughs> going to be supporting the boys on the bench with Benny while we're waiting for our bats, and maybe I'll get on base and steal some bases or something. I don't really know. Benny batting? Did we just, no, did no, we just no, no, for pitching. <laughs> Listen, I don't think Benny's batting. Uh, lazy eye, you know. Is that a consensus that's everyone's uh, big goal for the year this year is to uh, definitely go back and win that cup? Yeah, they're, they're two out of three last three years. I mean, we got to go out our strong note. Especially taking the lead in the sixth inning of game three last year. We felt like, felt like that was the one we needed, and we ended up blowing it. So this year we're not going to blow it. We're going to make it back. A lot of returning players this year. Um, not many gone last year, but some big players gone last year with uh, Barbario and Panks leaving the team. So, uh, just uh, Frank, walk me through uh, how you're going to fill those voids. Uh, I mean, obviously, like you said, not many losses, but, like, quality over quantity. We lost, like, four really good hitters. And, I mean, Joe, he was the stud behind the plate, and he pitched. I think it's just not some – like, obviously the seniors, because, like, us as juniors, I think we did a good job. But I think as seniors, we need to do, like, what they did for us last year. And the juniors, we have some nice pieces there. I just feel like if we get performance one through nine, it's not going to be like top heavy. It's going to be overall performance out of the whole team. If we get a one through nine performance and our whole pitching staff performs, I think we'll be most successful. Pitching this year, how's it going to look? Me and Frank uh, at the top of the rotation, and then we got uh, junior Brady O'Brien coming up from JV this year. He's a really solid starter. And then we have juniors Alex Belt and Connor Dunn. Also a couple underclassmen that might get the call up later in the year. So, I mean, we're definitely going to have to have some quality starts because we're not as deep as we were last year. So that's what we're looking at. And we, I think, because uh, with Barbario being gone, we lose our closer. And there's someone standing on my right that happens to throw mid-80s. And if he can hit the strike zone, he can literally be the next Mariano Rivera. Just saying. Pitching down the stretch is going to be crucial this year. What's the order look like this year? We're going to get some timely at-bats, some timely hits? Well, how we looked in spring training, it was uh, Laskowski leadoff. And then uh, after that, it's kind of Chesky and then me around there, 3-4. Chris Nino was at the top of the lineup. Uh, what else was up there? Pat. Pat had a, had a really good – yeah, you did really good down in Florida. And then obviously you got Frank and Brady. Uh, middle of the order, and then Cole Murray, who's our uh, starting second baseman this year. So um, I think I think we're gonna have a pretty solid year at the plate. Obviously, everyone needs to do their part, and uh, the top of the order is really where it's gonna carry us. But the bottom of the order is they're gonna gonna, they're gonna need to get on driving some runs in some crucial times, just like last year. Florida for spring training. How was that? Um, on the field, I mean, we went one and three, but spring training is one because last year, what did we go one and four? I think. So, I mean, it doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's it's good to bond and stuff. It brings the team together, and it's a good start to the season. And, like, the performance on the field isn't, like, isn't always, like, what you look to. You just look to see, like, the positives and, like, how you look heading into the season. 
in my opinion. I mean, from Buffalo, it's the first time we've played on the exactly. field all year because yeah. we've I been think, but, just yeah. in the snow the last two months. So that's the first time we're out in the field and probably the best practice we've had all year easily. So it's good work. With the underclassmen, that's really been that's been a big role since I was a freshman getting some playing time down in Myr- Myrtle, Florida, Tampa, wherever we were. That's that's how they get confidence going into the season. What do you guys think your biggest strength uh, on the team this year is? I think it's kind of just even throughout. I, yeah. I think our best strength is that we're just a really like solid lineup. There's no really great strengths. <laughs> Maybe defense because defense hasn't shown to be great, but it also hasn't been like lacking either. Our bats have been lacking. Our pitching, it's hit or miss, but probably defense. I mean, there's no strength as we're like bats that were well-rounded, but probably defense. Solid defense and small ball wins games. I think our biggest strength is senior leadership. We have a lot of seniors on this team, a lot of guys that have been on this program for four years. Uh, I've been on varsity for three years now, and I think our senior leadership is going to carry us deep into the postseason again. Big matchups. I uh, assume you guys want Joe's. I yeah, assume Joe, you want him back. Joe's a heavy one. I know yeah. they lost a lot of players, but they're still going to be good. Um, Franny's, I think we handled them pretty well last year. They got basically the same group of people coming back. So, so I just know throw a left. They're coming. Right. That's what we were last year. If you throw a lefty against Franny's, it may work. But they're definitely coming for us because when we swept them in the playoffs, I know they obviously didn't like that. Obviously, who doesn't want to beat Canisius? I was just going to say that. Who doesn't who want doesn't Canisius? Want to who doesn't want Canisius? I would love to beat St. Joe's for that two years. Two, twice First, year. what was I mean, it? Was like be- what was that, Kyle? Twice in the same year against St. Joe's is a hope. No. Both championships, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Kyle's looking for a two-peat on championships for the year. <laughs> Quick shout out to Matt Chesky. He probably wanted to be here, but I don't know where the hell he is. <laughs> shout out to Mike Wagner and Nick Galanti. Uh, Ryan Messing, I know you don't play baseball, but you're really great at hockey. I have a shout out for Cameron Girio and Lucas Prince since they shouted me out for every hockey game this season. Did you get taller? <laughs> I know we're not really underdogs this year, but. Woo! <laughs>